Now the items highlighted in green here can be left inside of the tool leprechaun and withdrawn later. To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Enter the stronghold and head south into the kitchen and speak to burnt meat. Accept the quest, then choose a second chat option. After the conversation, in the same room to your east, speak to my arm. Then speak to burnt meat once again. You will now have to head to Death Plateau. This is just north of Berthel. Don't forget to protect from range if you're a lower level. Find a large cooking pot nearby. Use your empty bucket on it to receive a gout lump. The cook troll will attack you, but you could just ignore it. Head back to the stroll stronghold and speak to my arm once again. He will now take you to the top of the troll stronghold. Once up. Speak to him just north. Read the farming manual all the way through. Then speak to him once again. Go ahead and use your three buckets of Uganthi dung and seven buckets of super compost on the soil patch. Then speak to my arm, choose the first chat option. Choose the first chat option. Now this is quite a lengthy cutscene, so just give it a minute. Once my arm has dashed away, head just south of the Kramja Lodestone and you will find my arm once again. Speak to him. 
head into the village and speak to more Kelly. He is the villager that you pay in order to chop the mahogany antique trees. In order to proceed, you will need at least 60% Taibo won a trio favor. If you have it, then choose the first chat option to proceed. You will now get a pretty angry cutscene. Once that cutscene is over, continue to speak to my arm. And you'll both head back to Artie. You can now head back to the Troll Stronghold rooftop. Now if you chose to store your farming tools inside of the Tool Leprechaun, the ones mentioned here on screen, then go ahead and withdraw them. Speak to my arm. You will now have to help him farm. Go ahead and give him these tools and items in this order. When you give him the rake, there is a chance that it can break. If it does so, go ahead and pick up the broken piece. Speak to my arm to receive the broken other half. Use it on each other, then try again. In the end, there is a chance you may or may not use the plank cure. Either way, it's fine. You will now receive a cutscene. After the said cutscene, you will have to fight two individual monsters. Go ahead and slay them both. Speak to my arm. The second one can be a little annoying with its wind, but it should be taken down pretty easily.
after the fight, go ahead and speak to my arm once again. Use your spade on him. After the conversation, you can now head back to the kitchen and speak to burnt meat. And for the last time, head back to the rooftop and speak to my arm. And quest complete.